Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about fiscal policy. Fiscal policy involves the changing of the overall level of public expenditure or spending and or taxation. In order to change or manage aggregate demand in an economy. Our objectives for today is to define the fiscal policy, analyze fiscal policy measures, and to evaluate the effects of fiscal policy measures on government macroeconomic aim. So remember, governments, they would want to achieve economic growth, they would want to fight inflation. So let's see the government or macroeconomic policies that they could use. They could use a fiscal policy which deals, as we said before, with the public spending and, ta and or taxation, monetary policy, which we will explain in the next video, and supply-side policies. Our lesson for today would only be about the first one. What is a fiscal policy? Fiscal policy, as we said, changes in government, tax, and expenditure so they would either increase or decrease the tax or increase or decrease the expenditure it is used to manage aggregate demand in an economy so the government would want to either increase the aggregate demand or to decrease the aggregate demand according to what they want to do they will see what they have to do with the tax or the spending if the government wants to increase employment and output, so in other words, they would want to fight unemployment and increase economic growth, they will be using something called an expansionary fiscal policy. So at that point, they would want to increase aggregate demand. They want people in the economy to demand more. So how could they let people demand more? What shall they do with the taxes? Shall they increase or decrease the taxes? Good. They would want to decrease the taxes so people can have more disposable income. And at that point, they will be demanding more. This is how we will increase aggregate demand. Or what they can do is they can decrease the, sorry, increase the spending, the government spending. They will build more public schools, more public hospitals, so they would be creating job opportunities. Now, if the government wants to fight inflation, they would use something called a contractionary fiscal policy. And at that point, they would want to decrease aggregate demand. Remember, when we have inflation, the overall prices are higher. They increase. So governments want to fight inflation. They want to decrease the prices. How would they decrease the prices? When they decrease aggregate demand. In order to achieve that, the government should increase the tax. So people would be having less income left with them, and they would demand less. When we demand less, prices will decrease. Or what they can do is they will decrease spending. So the government will not be spending as much as they used to before. Another way they would be using a fiscal policy is to redistribute income between the rich and the poor. And in order to do that, they will increase taxes on the rich so in order to achieve the third one, they will increase taxes on the rich in order to achieve income equality. This kind of tax, as we took before, it's called the progressive taxing system. Now, I would like to give you an exam tip. Make sure you understand that fiscal policy is not simply about government revenue and government expenditure, but about the relationship between the two, that there is a balance or an 
unbalanced budgetary position in an economy. A fiscal policy, it is the changing the total level of government spending and the taxation can have a significant impact on the aggregate demand for goods and services and therefore on output and employment and prices. So mainly we are, governments are using fiscal policy in order to achieve economic growth or in order to achieve employment or in order to fight inflation. So inflation, as you can see, it is caused by too much aggregate demand and rising costs. So in order to fight inflation, a government would be achieving using a contractionary fiscal policy, which is to decrease aggregate demand. How would they do that? It's by cutting public spending and by raising taxes. Or we can say when there is unemployment, it is caused by the lack of demand. So I would want people to demand more in order to achieve employment. So at that point, the government would be using an expansionary fiscal policy, which is used to increase aggregate demand. How can the government increase aggregate demand? It is by increasing public spending and decreasing the taxes in the economy. Another name for expansionary fiscal policy is reflationary. The government will implement it during a recession because the demand for goods and services is low and increase in unemployment. So the government, they want to increase aggregate demand to boost economic growth and employment. Look at the steps. This is an analyzed question. So for example, when the government wants to increase public spending or expenditure, it is increasing jobs. So people would be having more income, therefore they will demand more. If the government decided to decrease the tax, People also would be having more disposable income, therefore they are capable of demanding more. However, there is a risk they will save this extra money or spend it on imported goods and services. The budget, we took it before, remember, the budget refers to the amount of the government has to spend each year relative to the amount of revenue it raises from taxes. So an expansionary fiscal policy means running or increasing a budget deficit. If public expenditure is greater than the total tax revenue, so if expenditure is greater than the tax revenue, budget deficit, and the government will have to borrow money in order to finance it. When this happens, we have a deficit. And during a deficit, what would the government do? They will borrow money. A deflationary or a contractionary fiscal policy, it is when the government wants to decrease aggregate demand in order to fight inflation. So they want to, uh, they want to achieve uh, low prices. So how can they do that? It is either by decreasing the spending, which means there would be less job opportunities. And when we are not working, we would be having no income or less income. And when we have less money, we will be demanding less. Also, the government could achieve that by increasing the tax on the people. Why? Because when the taxes increase, my disposable income decreases, and therefore, again, I would be demanding less. However, this might, so when the government is trying to fight inflation, it might create unemployment and decrease economic growth. So here, the government is fixing one problem, but this might lead to another problem. So the contractionary fiscal policy, it means that the budget deficit will be cut 
or decreasing a budget deficit and increasing a budget surplus. If public ex why because if public expenditure is less than the total tax revenue, there will be a budget surplus. Okay. Some problems with the fiscal policy. Remember, as we said before, when the government is trying to achieve one macroeconomic objective by using a policy, unfortunately, this might lead to one other problem. Let's see what the problem is. First of all, the fiscal policy is a burden to use. For example, when the government is using the demand side policies, it will create other problems. Remember, so it was firing inflation. Okay, it achieved firing inflation, but on the other hand, it led to unemployment or a decrease in economic growth. Public spending can crowd out private spending. When I'm saying public spending has to be financed, how will it be financed? It is by increasing taxes from the household and corporate incomes. Or the government can uh, borrow from the private sector. When the government is borrowing from the private sector, there will be an increase in borrowing, and this would raise the interest rate. This is called crowding out. Crowding out is when the private sector lends money to the government. This means that the private sector will have less money on itself for expanding or reinvesting this money in the business. So crowding out private sector, lending money to the government. This is bad because the private sector will have less money to expand. Also, Increasing taxes on incomes and profits can reduce incentive to work. We are demotivated to work uh, because we are paying more taxes. And also, the same thing for the um, enterprises. When they have to pay a lot of taxes, it will either lead to tax evasion or they will decrease employment. Also, too much spending it can cause inflation. So when the government was um, increasing public spending, this would lead to inflation. So as a closure, and this is a summary for the lesson, please remember what is a fiscal policy. It could be either uh, an expansionary fiscal policy or a contractionary fiscal policy. So when I when I want to say expansionary fiscal policy, they are increasing aggregate demand, or this one they would be decreasing the aggregate demand. Thank you guys. That would be it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a lovely day.